Welcome to Reparations Conversations, the Taylor's Talk, White Supremacy, Reparations, and the Church. Reparations Now, NWA, is an invitation to support Black Christian leadership in Northwest Arkansas, to sponsor a fellow from Northwest Arkansas with the Witness Foundation as an expression of repentance and reparation for the sin of white supremacy. Last time, we talked about the role and ethic of the church. Today, we want to talk about the essence and effect of reparations. Today, we have with us our friend, Pastor Curtis Smith. Pastor Curtis is the senior pastor at the historic St. James Missionary Baptist Church. Pastor Curtis, thank you for being with us today. Pleasure, pleasure, thank you. Yes, sir. Well, today, as I mentioned, we want to talk about the essence and effect of reparations. Quan okay. and Thompson write that the essence of reparations is simply the ethical Christian response to the sin of white supremacy. Said differently, reparations is the fruit that the American church must bear in keeping with repentance for the sin of white supremacy. Quan and Thompson write that to begin practices of repair, we must commit to name lies and tell truth, enable black wealth and share white wealth, and enable and submit to black leadership. So we believe that white Christians need to change our perspective. We need to understand that reparations is not a ministry of mercy, but of justice. This means that we must renounce control our primary orientation toward black people is not to test them, to evaluate the return on our investment, but to trust them, to return what we have stolen. Now, I'm not suggesting, Pastor Curtis, that we stand on the corner of College and Dixon and hand out $100 bills, but I am suggesting that, humbled by the truth of our complicity in white supremacy, we share white wealth and submit to black leadership. So, Pastor Curtis, we wanted to ask you, what do you think about the essence and effect of reparations? And what do you want our white brothers and sisters to know? Yeah, um, you know, as you said that one of the things that really came to mind is um, something that Dr. Carl Ellis um, spoke about. He is uh, the professor of theology and culture at the Reform Theological Seminary. And one of the things that he spoke of this in terms of the essence of racism and, and things of that nature is, um, he calls it uh, creaturism. Uh, and he says that is really begins to be the root of, of the issue of racism. And so what happens is that we base it off of our own opinion uh, and not the word of God. And so what happens is that it becomes the standard of judgment and what makes others innately inferior to us is what we think of our of ourselves. And so, um, and so, when I think about when I think about that and um, the, the essence of of racism um, uh, and and reparations, it it just really kind of goes back to some of your uh, initial points that um, that you were making. Uh, up front is that it's not really about trying to um, um, looking for this this helping hand or to do something that is just um, a good thing to do. Let's do it this so that no, this is something in which um, when we think about this nation, much of what this nation. people who have been in oppression um, for, you know, 401 years, even still today, because I think we can still feel some of the essence of that. Um, and so it's really about how do we create an environment that will level the playing field? Because reparations, as I alluded to you early in our conversation before it all started, um, it is nothing that is new to our nation. Um, whether it be the repentance of um, taking the indigenous people land uh, in this country, and and of course, you know, with government apologies, and then there was obviously some reparations that were given uh, to the Native Americans, and even into Alaska, there were uh, millions of, of acres of land that were given that were given back. 
um, all because of what was actually stolen from the very beginning, um, you know, it was done. There was an apology, or whether it, it is with um, the Japanese internment camps and where we had taken the property of, of the Japanese. And, and But as a country, in two separate occasions, we gave reparations back to uh, the Japanese community in 1948 and then also again in 1988. And so, and again, it is, it is, it is, it is not, it is not new. Uh, even in Hawaii, did some of the very same things. And so for us to ignore, um, you know, a history that we have as relates to African Americans and saying, well, hey, listen, you know, what does that look like? It becomes a very big struggle for us as a nation because we don't want to remember um, the sin in which, you know, many would say it's the ultimate sin of our country uh, in um, building so much um, on the backs of folks that were not compensated for the work in which they were done. Not only were they not compensated, but they were imprisoned and they were um, they were held in bondage and hostage and they were ripped away from their families to create psychological issues that create, even right now, still goes on today. Some folks still deal with, you know, in black communities, you've got a lot of families that are separated, but anxiety is some things that have happened over the course of time. And so there's a lot of different things that are, that are there that should be addressed. And I do believe that ultimately in the end, some sort of reparation should be um, began to, 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 to start forming um, for uh, the African-American culture. Amen. I agree, Pastor Curtis, and, and thank you for sharing with us today. I know that we've uh, asked you to share very briefly about a very big topic and uh, as we discussed earlier, I know that you've preached um, particularly on the parable of the Good Samaritan um, in recent weeks. And so we'll post a link to that sermon so that folks can continue to learn from you. Um, but uh, just wanted to thank you again, Pastor Curtis, for your time today. Uh, very much appreciate you. So um, that's it for today's episode of Reparations Conversations. Next time, we'll talk about where we go from here. Please visit reparationsnownwa.com to continue the conversation. Thanks, Pastor Curtis. Oh, my pleasure.